Okay, this is day four. The pelvic floor is all going to be standing, and I have my feet shoulder width apart. And I'm just going to warm up right now with some tucks, abdominal and glute tucks. Notice how I'm bringing my arms forward and then back. That kind of helps me move in the one motion forward. Remember how I told you to engage and to do an, an abdominal tuck? So keep all that in mind when you're doing this. Your abdominals, your glutes, and your pelvic floor. feet further apart and I'm bringing myself up onto my toes which I'm teetering because it's not easy and I'm doing a tuck my knees aren't as bent but I'm on my toes and I'm just tucking forward and then back and you notice I have to get my balance so that's really, really working my core more by having to do the balance part on the rebounder. It's very, it was difficult. I was hoping to do more on my toes, which I could do on the floor, but it's much more difficult, like I said, on the rebounder. Now I'm going to hold that, I'm just holding it and holding it. You can see I'm starting to bounce a little bit, I'm moving on the rebounder so I'll probably see I stumble forward but I got a little bit of it done. So that's pretty much it for on the toe. So now I'm putting my feet really close together and I'm coming down into a squat semi-squat and I'm doing circles so I'm circling one direction and I'm circling in the same way as I showed in the video I hope you watch the video of how to do a proper hip circle because that'll make it more natural and easier for you you will know exactly how to do it and it's a little bit harder to come forward in the circle because I'm leaning forward okay now I'm resting and then I'm going to circle in the other direction going to be holding that squat. It 
could be as though you're squatting over a toilet um, and you're just holding that position and when you come up make sure you're tucking as you come up even when you're squatting you should be holding tight your pelvic floor now I'm going to be putting the front leg right behind no I'm doing a curtsy lunge actually so I'm putting it behind and to the side and that makes it even more difficult with it right behind and I'm just doing some pulses and that is challenging um, our balance so that's going to be working your pelvic floor much more and your core Okay, now I'm going to start a tuck that way. It's, it's a very subtle tuck. And the whole time I'm doing it, I'm concentrating on one spot. You'll notice when I'm really concentrating, I don't glance toward the camera at all. Because I'm focused on one spot. I can remember focusing facing this way. So same thing, um, I have my back foot way off to the other side and it's what a curtsy a curtsy lunge so I'm coming down and I'm just pulsing down and I'm gonna look at one spot that's what keeps me balanced is by looking at the one spot I'm not looking anywhere but the one spot I chose because if I start looking around I will start to teeter and that's just the way it is so now I'm going to start the tuck and I'm still focusing on one spot and I'm focusing on the moment I'm focusing on getting through this one particular move and wanting to stay balanced I'm already sweating, I'm wiping my face, I got up and just started this, I didn't do any type of rebounding or anything. So now I have, I'm going into circles, but I have my leg that's closer to the wall in front of the other foot. I have it out in front, you might not be able to notice that. And that's going to change which muscles you're using. So I have the leg that I have my charge HR on to the front as I'm circling. And I'm going to be circling for about 20, I think. Now I'm just tucking forward and I'm going to start bringing my inner thighs together and pulsing the inner thighs. I'm just pulsing and tucking and pulsing and keeping in the tuck position. Now I'm holding that. I'm holding that. It's really going to be working your pelvic floor. Now I'm going to have my other foot in front. You can tell I'm doing it more now. And I'm going to be doing circles. And then I'm just going to repeat the same thing as I did on the other side. And you see how I thrust it forward and go to the side and then to the back.
Okay, feet more than a little bit more than shoulder width apart. We're going to bring our thighs together and then just turn. So I'm bringing them together and holding and then turning into the, into the other leg. And make sure you're still staying tucked the whole time. To the other side I'm gonna bring my legs together as I'm tucking and then I'm gonna turn into it my mind and what I was gonna do but I think about standing on one leg and it's really hard on the rebounder so I'm coming down in a semi squat 
and then I'm going to bring my hand, arm over my head. So as I bend over, I'm still tucking, and you really can't see that. And then bringing my arm over my head. And I have my feet pretty much together. There's probably an inch or two between them. And that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. So when I come up, I'm tucking. And I'm bringing my arm up over my head to the other side. And I'm being um, slow and controlled. on the other side I'm going down and you can tell by my facial expressions how I'm feeling I can tell by how I'm breathing I'm having to concentrate on all of it as I come up I'm tucking and then reaching my arm over my head and I'm really concentrating to not teeter and to stay balanced come in and do circles. <clears throat> it's a different way than just having your feet together. It's a little bit more challenging and you can tell that I'm really, I'm concentrating 
but I'm having a difficult time, but I'm keeping it going. Now I'm going in the other direction. I don't do too many one way. And I'm focusing on one spot. I'm looking and I can't look around. It's like when you do a class and you're trying to balance. If you look around at somebody else, you start to fall. It's the same principle. See, I'm, I'm saying, wow, look how hot I am. I had to, I was just, I couldn't believe how much I was sweating. So now I'm turning to the other direction. I have my front foot behind my back foot, and then I'm going to do circles. I'm going to circle for 10 in one direction, and then I'm going to stop, and then circle 10 to the other direction. See, I was like, I have to catch myself. But you notice I'm just focusing. I'm not looking around. I have to be in the moment to keep it. So you know what you're doing. So don't be looking at the camera or the whatever you're looking at. Um, just keep the circles going. I'm bringing my feet further apart and I'm going to be coming down and I've set my squat and then go all the way down into a squat. That's a pretty good squat. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to tuck and hold that tuck. Come up onto my toes and then come back down. Now I'm coming down slow, slow, slow. I try to do a 90 degree one. And then I'm tucking all the way up. And then when I get up there, I'm going to come up onto my toes. That's another move that's very concentrated. So if you want to turn in another direction so that you can see your device of what I'm doing, that would be a perfect thing to do. So I'm coming down. Down. I'm trying to go down as far as I can and then come up and then once I get almost all the way up I come up onto my toe. bringing my one foot out to the side and pointing it toward the outside of the room and I have my feet shoulder width apart and I'm going to be bringing my knee up and then I'm tucking I'm bringing my knee out to the side and I'm tucking when I'm done and when I bring my knee up to the side I'm still engaging my pelvic floor I think that's where all the, I'm concentrating so hard and the deeper parts of my muscles that that's what's making me do all the sweating. Um, that's really hard and challenging, but it's, it's, a, it's a good hard and challenging. So keep tucking and then bringing up your knee out to the side.
Okay, I'm gonna bring my foot out to the other side and I'm gonna bring that up. If I did the tuck first, it's a tuck and then you bring the knee up. Tuck and bring the knee up. See, I'm on one leg and that's challenging on the rebounder. So, um, we've only got two minutes left, so we're almost finished, 29 minutes of day nine of standing. I'll see you on day 10, which will be hmm, a killer workout. Killer, challenging, but you will be able to do it and you'll feel so good when you get done. Thank you for um, being there for me and you're a great bunch of women. Okay, one last little move. We're bent over and I am just doing the tucks and I'm moving side to side, side to side. I can really feel it in my behind tonight, believe me.